in game two of their NCHC season. The St. Cloud State University Huskies drop the game to the Colorado College Tigers with a final score of 5-2. to two. Welcome into the studio for your post-game highlights. I'm your host, Nick Spiliopoulos. It was an action-packed game tonight, and let's jump right in to all of the action. Tigers creating chances early. Cristiano Versich, who had two goals in last night's game, gets the turnover from Luke Jaycox and Cristiano Versich fires one on David Rennick, but Rennick able to make the save with that right arm. Tigers again, Brian Yoon throws it on Rennick, makes a save with his left pad. Wilkie gets the rebound and Rennick makes a phenomenal save getting his right pad on it. Ashan throws it over to Sam Hentges. Sam Hentges down to Nick Paling and Nick Paling throws it across the slot and somehow finds the stick of Spencer Meyer. Spencer Meyer taps it on Matt Vernon, but Vernon makes the save. Nick Halloran skating the puck into the zone for the Tigers and scores after seeing David Rennick kind of drop down. He goes backhand right over David Rennick's shoulder. You can see again, Halloran has great control as he shakes Andre Treball, the defender, and goes beating Rennick right side. In the second period, Alex Berardinelli and Brian Yoon get in front of David Rennick and through some sticks, Andrew Goss gets the puck and goes right underneath the right pad of David Rennick. You can see again, two bodies in front of Rennick and Gross just gets it right underneath that pad of David Rennick, unable to hit that pad on the ice. Huskies on a three minute power play, Nick Perbix puts it on net and Kevin Fitzgerald grabs the rebound, throws it back, and somehow the freshman, Matt Vernon, making an incredible save to keep the Huskies at zero. Ben Copeland in the corner finds freshman Brady Smith, and he goes top corner on the right side of the net to beat Rennick to give the Tigers the 3-0 the lead. Taking one more look at it, that would be Brady Smith's first career collegiate goal. Huskies on a power play opportunity of their own. Easton Brodzinski controlling a loose shot from Yami Kranola, and Easton fires a quick wrister and beats Matt Vernon on the right side. Pat Micheletti kind of said it was a broken play, but Easton does his job, throws it on net, and Vernon was unprepared to make the save. Got that shot off well before he could get down. Tigers responding with a goal of their own. Christian Blumenschein to give the Tigers that three goal lead. One more look, Lamaru kinda has a bunch of bodies in front of him, goes right under the glove of the freshman. In the third period, on the remainder of a three minute, four second power play for the Huskies, Chase Brand catches Vernon off the post just a little bit and capitalize on it, yes he did. Chase Brand getting his second goal of the season, you can see one more time, Vernon just a smidge off of that post and Brand squeaks it past him. St. Cloud on the penalty kill, creating an opportunity and Jack Ashan and Jack Paling. Jack Ashan with the wraparound, but Vernon hugged tight to the post this time and made the save. Colorado College would add an empty net goal to give the final score five to two in favor of the Colorado College Tigers. Shots on goal, 32 to 29 to SCSU. Both goaltenders made 27 saves. One thing to note, David Rennick made 13 of those 27 saves for the Huskies. Joey Lamaru in his debut made 14 of the saves. Both teams went to the penalty box a lot, and I mean a lot. Four times in the box for CC, six for SCSU, 24 penalties minutes for CC, 23 for St. Cloud State. Both teams were able to find the back of the net in their power play opportunities. Colorado College one of three, and St. Cloud State two of four in the faceoff circle. Absolutely dominated, 40 to 25. Taking a look at the upcoming schedule for the Huskies, they will be on the road as they take on the University of North Dakota Fighting Hawks, the top team in the NCHC right now. Then they'll enjoy Thanksgiving break with a bye week. After that, they will be heading out east to Ohio to take on the Miami, Ohio Red Hawks. And then they will return home December 13th and 14th for our next broadcast. And that Friday night game will begin at 7.30 on Fox Sports North Plus, with Saturday's game being at 6 o'clock on Fox 9 Plus. That wraps it up here in the studio. I'm Nick Spiliopoulos. Go Huskies.